Hello. Nello. Nello, will you get out of that pit? Nello. At your foolish scribblings again, hmm? Oh, what time is it? What time is it? It's time to be up and about. I must have fell asleep. Must have. Imagine sitting there all night, falling asleep over a fool drawing. It isn't exactly a fool drawing, Grandfather. It's almost good, I think. Wasting your time? And your good rest? But it isn't wasting time. Well, it's wasting good candles. Look at that, burnt right down to the stick. <laughs> All the way. Oh. All the way. Just got to get more rest for you. But if I'm going to be an artist someday, I've just got to work hard at it. Yes, but in the meantime, we've just got to eat and keep this roof over our head. Oh, that's easy. Oh, is it? When you get to be my age, you'll know it ain't so easy. Now, let me tell you something, young man. It's all very well to have talent. Your father had great talent. But what did it ever get him? Nothing. Poverty. That's all he ever got out of it. But haven't you always told me he was happy? Yes. He was. But he practically starved to death. Times are different from what they were when Rubens was alive. Nowadays, a boy's got to work learn some sort of a business. That's the only way to get on in this world. Even if it's only pulling a cart full of milk cans like we do. But, Grandfather, you don't exactly understand. I got a feeling inside, in here, that I can get somewhere with painting and drawing and if I could... Being be sure of a good square meal, son will fix that feeling better than all the paints and pencils in Flanders. And that's what we've got to do right now. Come on. Hurry. Getting strong, Nello. Oh, look at that. Come here. Oh, you'll catch cold like that. Such cold morning. I'm not cold. Nello, look at your pants. Yes, I know. Oh. Come here. Thank you. 
Morning, son. Morning. Here. Today is meat day. Here. Don't let them cheat you. Cheat me? I can bargain as good as you. <laughs> well, we'll see. Mutton. Beef. Mutton. Beef. 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 I always wanted to see it so much. I just had to, to sort of look. I didn't touch it. I've seen you here often, my son. Why have you never told me? I thought people had to pay to see it. Well, I never have any money. Only those who can afford it are asked to pay. Perhaps I could. The curtains. Oh. Would you? Antwerp has been the home of many great artists, but Rubens is her most honored son, the greatest artist of them all. I know it. If I can learn, if I could only learn to... You can learn from no greater master. Dear Lord, 
please teach me. Teach me to do good work. Like you taught Peter Paul Rubens. Amen. Come on, get on there! Get up there! get gone and I'll know the reason why. Gina! You, you, you. <laughs> Nello! Nello! No, 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 Nello, don't. That pumpkin fool will kill you. Are you hurt? Nope. No, 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 Nello. Oh. So you're gonna die on me, are you? Ah. A dirty fruit. He's only a little dead. I can hear his heart thumping like... Anyway, I can hear it. Well, maybe, maybe if we took him home... Yep, that's it. We can't let him die like this. I'll get the cart. I'll get Hunt. He knows all about dogs. Hunt will make him live. Awful sick dog. So let's hurry, Hans. You gotta make him live again. What kind of a dead dog is he, Nello? Just a dog, Maria. Hans, will you come? Come. I'm almost there now. Maria! Maria! Mama! 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 Is it Again, our Maria is off with that shabby boy, Nello. Well, Carl, what harm can come of it? They're just two children. They... Enough, Elsa. You are a woman and therefore a fool. Uh, I will not have it. The daughter of Carl Kogge shall not be seen with such people. Papa, really? Sir, should... what if that fine boy, Peter van der Kloot, should see our Maria with a ragamuffin? What will his parents think of me? Tell me this, Mama. Well, Carl, I'd much rather... Enough, Ma. I have spoken, Mama. Ain't that water hot yet? I'll see. Look. He breathes better. Now that's fine. That's great. Take your time. Don't, don't hurry, my boy. That's fine. Ouch. Nothing like hot compress. Many of the animals I saved with them. 
Do you think he's got a chance, Hans? Well, while there's life, there's hope. We hope. Oh, I saw him wiggle. Well, when you got a good wiggle, you got something. You got a drop of brandy handy? Well, maybe a little. Well, let's have it quick. But I thought you wanted it for the dog. Did I say so? Well, no. Look, his eye flickered. Maybe he's winking at us. No. He did it again. That's right. Oh, where's the hot water? Here, right here. Oh, yes. And look at that. You really think he's going to live? Hello? I don't know. I've been kind of afraid to name him. But it's all right now. You name him. All right. What's the matter with Leo? Well, uh... Can you think of a good name for him, Grandfather? Call him Lazarus. Lazarus? Why that? He that was dead came forth. That's pretty good. Oh, no. Lazarus is too much like Sunday school. Let's call him Leo. After Leopold, his majesty. All right. Leo, you are. Now, let's get the rest of these things off. There you are. your manor's daughter. Can't you see Peter Vanderclute is here? How do you do? You never saw such a thing. Leo's just as good as new, and he's running in just Not now, her... Maria. Peter is here to see you. Sit down, dear. Uh, Peter, sit down. <laughs> but, Papa, I wanted to go... <laughs> well, Peter, since our last talk, have you made up your mind yet what you're going to be? A great banker, a brilliant lawyer, or perhaps a general in His Majesty's army. Eh? <laughs> How would that be? Do you hear, Maria? Someday Peter might be a great general. Might be. Hans says cows might fly if they had wings. <laughs> Such a quaint child, Peter. Always thinking of animals. <laughs> uh, you were saying, my boy... I was about to say, Herr Kogaze, that I'll very likely be forced into the banking business. But I've always wanted to be a great artist. <laughs> I mean, really great. You know You I... an artist, Peter? That's funny. <laughs> Maria, you do not see your father laughing. Perhaps you don't know that I've been tutored by the greatest masters in Antwerp. And maybe it might interest you to know that I'm entering one of my drawings in the Rubin Scholarship Contest next month. And what's more, I expect to win it, Maria Kogays. Huh. My friend Nello has never had a lesson. And he, too, is going to enter the contest. Peter Van de Kloot. And Nello's a real genius artist and doesn't need teachers. And if you don't believe me, I'll show you what he can do. Maria, we do not wish to see them now. Come on, Leo. Come on back. Oh, look at him fly. 
<laughs> Fix you up all right, old fella. A snake. <laughs> Come on, Leo. That's it, boy. That's it. Oh, gee. Vanderclute. How do you do? Come on, Leo. Come on, boy. Is that the boy you were talking about? Yes. <laughs> Certainly a funny-looking genius. Well, I'd rather be a little funny-looking than just snobby-looking. Fine girl, that. Always knows what she's talking about. Wake him, Leo. He wasn't feeling too good last night. We don't need him. What's that you two are saying? You don't need me. Yep, I'm giving orders today, and I say you gotta stay at home. What's this? What's this? Now look here. You weren't feeling so good last night. So why don't you stay in bed today? It'll do you good. Yes, but I'm feeling better this morning. Look. Oh. oh. There, see? You better stay put. <laughs> well, with two against one, what can I do? You can go back to sleep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Good day, Nello. Oh, a new dog. Uh huh? Where's your grandfather? He had to stay home today. A little cranky in the back. Oh, that is too bad. Is there something I can do for him, Frau Keller? He's feeling pretty bad. Now I tell you what you do for him. I'll get you some goose grease. Now you take the goose grease and you're a. Now will you look at him? he's doing, huh? Don't you see? He wants to work. Oh, no. Come on, get out of that. <coughs> see? You better let him do it. Oh, he wants to help. He's used to helping. Well, what do you know about that? <gasps> Nello, I've got an old harness in the house. I'll get it for you. All right, if you want to do it. Here we are. Oh! It isn't very good, but it'll do. Good? It's the real thing. You're sort of proud of yourself, huh, Leopold? Thanks awful much, Frau Keller. Oh, that's all right, Nello. Now, that's more like it. Well, come on, boy. Come on. An animal you have there, son? Yeah. Name's Leopold. Same as the king. Mm. 
Good day. Good day, son. Come on, Leo. Thank you, Father. Make grandfather well again. And make me a good artist. Like him. And would you mind sort of giving our business a little boost? And... you are. This is a church, fella. Don't you know you don't belong in here? Come on. I always says to myself, a bit of success is right good medicine. You know, Hans, that dog has been a godsend to Nello and me. You don't say. Twice the business done in half the time, five more calls on the roof, and now and then the boy gets a bit of time to himself. Yes, I see him all over the place, sketching everything from windmills to work. Uh, Cows chewing their cuds. Uh, uh. <laughs> when are you going to start your drawing for the contest, Nello? Oh, pretty soon. Leo! Leo! Now, how can I draw you good if you're scratching fleas, huh? Let them bite. Keep still. The winner of the contest wins a scholarship, too. Doesn't he, Nello? And then you'll have to go to Brussels to study. Won't you? Just think. It'll mean I won't see you for months and months and months. Maybe years. Will it be years, Nello? Or don't you know yet? No. I guess you'll have to win before you know anything. Won't you? So where'd he go to? <laughs> oh, now is that the way to be a model? You better go home if you're so fidgety. Go on. Go on. Oh, 
So, what I say doesn't count with you, eh? Did I or did I not tell you to keep your own company? But Herr Kogays, it isn't her fault. I asked her to pose for me. And who are you, boy, to ask my daughter to pose for your stupid drawings? They're not stupid, Papa. They're better, much better than anything Peter ever... Hold your tongue. From now on, it is I, your father, will select your companions. And he will see to it that they are fit companions for Carl Kogay's daughter. You mean, Herr Kogay's, that we can't... You have understood? I have spoken. But, Papa, you must oh. look. He can really draw and make it look like me. Well, how could it be good? The boy can't draw. Oh. Oh, not so bad. <laughs> oh, good. Good, very good. <laughs> <laughs> But in posing for this, you have disobeyed your father. Do you understand? And I forbid you to do it again. You have heard me, daughter. Go to my house once. But, Papa, I wanted to... I have spoken. And you? You shall stay away from my daughter. Do you understand? But how did you know where he was? When I saw you from the road, I sort of figured you had him. Oh. But, but you left him for dead. You were through with him. Yeah, that's what you say. You up and took him, didn't you? Yes, but after that's all... That's all I want to know. He's my dog and I'm going to get him. What right have you got to him? Oh, so there you are. Come here. Come here! Well, whose dog is he? Is he mine or yours? This is a terrible thing you're doing. You have no more yeah. right to that dog. Suppose I go and tell the judge you stole him. Come on. Grandfather. What's wrong? Where's Leo? I couldn't do anything, boy. It was the man. He came and took him back. What man? Where's he taking him? The man who owned him, the hardware man, he came and took him away. But why? Why'd you let him? He's our dog, not his. I tried to stop him, but he said he would have us before the judge for stealing. What could I do?
You've been loafing too long. Time you did some real work. All right. Get up. Oh, I've been leading a gentleman's life, huh? But I'll teach you to work again. Oh, talking back, huh? I'll learn you better manners. What do you think could... You must short dress if you sit on the stairs like that. And then it won't look pretty at all. I don't feel like looking pretty. I don't care what I look like. Now, you must be sensible, Maria. You know perfectly well you had no right inviting Nello to the party without Papa's permission. But what'll Nello think? What can I tell him? What'll he say when he finds out he's not... wanted? Oh, please, dear. Now, your father has told Frida to be as kind to him as possible. Well, she'll just tell him that... Well... See? Even you don't know how she's going to do it. Oh, Mama. How can anybody be... kind about a thing like that? Well, now, Maria, your father's wishes must be obeyed. He has his reasons for not asking Nello. But remember this, dear. He wants you to make a good impression on Peter's parents. The Vanderclutes are very important. Pooh! They're just rich. And they're stupid old sticks. And, and Peter's a nasty little snob. I suppose there'll be some nice people there tonight. Oh, hmm? yes. It's many a year since I spun a pretty girl around the dance floor. Those pants are getting a little short, I think. What? Well, let them down. See? Where's your vest? Haven't any. It's wore out. Can't go to a party without a vest. That's all right. I can button a coat. Oh, that won't do. Wait a minute. Here we are. Here's a real vest. There. Take off your coat. Oh. Mm. Ah. Well, Grandfather, don't you think that... Oh, that's all right. We'll pin up the back. And then, with your coat on, no one will ever know. It's many a year since I wore that vest. Now let's look. <laughs> Nothing to be ashamed of. Better go along, boy. You'll never get anywhere by arriving places too late. 
No, Leo. Not tonight. You gotta stay home. You trip everybody up. Keep him company. Goodbye. Enjoy yourself, son. You're only young once, you know. Nello, he, he's very sorry, but, but he thinks you better not come tonight. Oh, they, they don't want me. It's her cougars, Nello. It's him. I know. I see. Maria, she, she made a mistake. Nello, 
suppose you don't believe it was my fault, do you? It was Papa. He made Fia tell you you weren't invited. It was mean. Cruel. That's all right, Maria. I... I know it wasn't your fault. Oh, don't feel bad. Please. Because I don't. Anyway, I didn't want to see anyone else but you. I knew you'd say something nice like that. Look, I brought you some cakes and things. That's awfully nice of you, Maria. Thanks. Lucky it wasn't a piece of custard pie. <laughs> I better be going. No. Yeah, they'll be looking for you. Thanks, Maria, for everything. Good night. Good night, Yellow. Till I come back? Don't go. But, Grandfather, you're sick. And the doctor... It's too late now. I'm going. Oh, Grandfather, don't go. Just stay here with me. I almost wish I could. There's nothing to fear, boy. I always say... A man is not born till he's lived his life, and God tells him to move on. I've had a fine life, son, a long one. I like to think of it like it was a dream. And now, in a little while, I'll be waking up to think about that dream. 
and about you, son, and the dream you've got ahead of you. But I don't want you to go. Look, I'll get the dirt. like me, do you? No. Why? Because I don't. Well, there must be a reason. No, there mustn't. Well, is there anything I could do to make you like me better? Lots. All right, tell me just one thing. All right, I will. You can be decent to Pornello. He's in terrible trouble, and he hasn't any money, and he needs friends and kindness and, and sympathy. Well, I hardly know the boy, but I'll gladly help him out if I can. Would that make you awfully happy? Make you like me better? It might. Well, that's easy. I'll go around and see him first thing in the morning. No, you won't. You'll go right now. All right. Do you think I'm bluffing? Wait a second. How much spending money have you got? Plenty. Why? Because he needs some. Bad. Very well. I'll help him out. And don't go telling everybody what you did, either. Who told you I was in trouble? Oh, a number of people. And I just took it for granted that you hadn't any money. You're right there. Perhaps I can help you. Yeah, but you don't understand. I can't just take it for nothing. All right, then. Borrow it, if that'll make you feel any better. I'm afraid I could never pay it back. Unless... Of course, if I win the contest, I could. Easy. You're the first one who's seen it. What do you think of it? Do you think it's any good? Huh? Oh, yes. It's not bad. It's all right. Maybe if you could loan me the money until after the contest, I could, uh... No, that won't do. Might not win. And then... Listen, Nello. What? I'll buy the thing. And that'll be money in your pocket right now. But... But then I won't be able to answer... Frankly, it. Nello, it hasn't a chance of winning. But I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll enter it for you. In your name. Then maybe... Oh, honest, will you? Oh, thanks, Peter. This is the place, all right. Yes, sir. This is the place, all right. Are you the grandson of Yehan Das? Yeah, but what do you want? We've come to take you to a very nice home. Yes, a very nice home. But I'm all right here. I don't want to go anywhere else. I don't want a new home. But you don't understand. You're underage. And there's no one to look after you. And I'm here to carry out the magistrate's instructions. This is a court order for your commitment to the children's orphanage. Yes, a court order. Now, if you'll put that beast away somewhere, we'll get right along. I'm not going with you. And you better get out. Quick! I can't hold it much longer. Well... Antoine! 
Come here. I may need you. Get away from me. See, Mama, it says here that this boy Nello has not yet been found. Five days now, and they haven't caught him nor his savage dog. Poor child. He was probably frightened away from the neighborhood by those wretched men. Uh, poor child. Mama, why is it that every time I see Maria lately, she is either going into the barn or coming out of the barn? The baby chicks and ducks, Carl. I've given them to her to feed. catches me. We won't let him. And that means you've got to forget to bark, see? But after the contest, it won't matter who knows you've been here. That's right. They won't dare put me in the orphanage. I'll win. Of course you're going to win. And listen, Nello, when Papa gets back from Antwerp tomorrow night, you'll hear him. Come right up to my window. I want to be the first to tell you. Thanks, Leo. It's all right. I guess it was just Hans. But I'd better go. I think it was mean of Papa not to take me to the contest. Well, he told you he had to call for the Vanderklutes. There wasn't room in the carriage. Hello, Maria. Oh, go away. Don't worry, Maria. Is that the way to greet our guests? Wait, Mama. Before the splendid news, even. This is Monsieur de la Tour, the eminent French gentleman who's come all the way from Paris to judge our contest. <laughs> hey, my wife. My daughter, Maria. Who won, Father? Maria. And now, it is not even a surprise I give you when I announce the winner of the Rubens contest as our dear friend, Peter Van der Kloot. Oh, how wonderful. Peter, we're all proud of you. Oh, madame, how happy you must be. And you too, Herr Van der Kloot. But it can't be. He, he couldn't have won. Yes, I think that's best. I don't care. Peter can't draw the back of a barn. There, I'm ashamed of you. <laughs> a moment, if you please. Oh, the little mademoiselle doesn't approve of our choice, huh? She is ill, maybe. She must have a fever. More likely, she has artistic convictions of her own. <laughs> Come here, my child. <laughs> now, whom do you think should have won the contest? Nello, Nello da. He should have won. Nello da. And who is this Nello, whom you so much admire? I'll show you. Look, anyone I'm better than Peter could do in his whole life. Nello's a real artist. <laughs> Keep quiet, boy. Keep quiet. 
find out who won? <laughs> Why, Maria, what's the matter? Oh. So I didn't win after all. <laughs> well, I suppose that settles everything. No, no, Nello, you mustn't say that. <laughs> Don't cry, Maria. Don't cry. Look, I don't care. It don't mean a thing to me. A fella can't expect to win the first time anyway. He's got to have a lot of practice. He's got to work hard. Stick to it. Oh, I guess I'd better go. Where to? Can't keep on hiding forever. And I won't go to the orphanage. Will you be gone long, Nello? I'll wait for you if you want me to. Will you really? Honest, Maria? Always. I promise. Goodbye, Maria. Goodbye, Nello. Monsieur Cogues, this is a very serious accusation to make. But the stroke of an artist, however young, is like his fingerprints. Oh, Carl, we're drinking a toast to Peter's victory. Can't you both join us? Not now, Mama. We're busy. Monsieur Delatour, it cannot be. The Vanderclutes are honorable people. I assure you, I am right. You have only to compare this girl in the winning sketch with the figure of this one done by that boy Nello. That's Nello's picture. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, how do you know, my child? Because it looks like he did it. And I can tell his drawing from anyone's. You see, our duty is plain. We must find this boy, Nello, and make restitution. He has run away. He has been gone five days. No, Papa. He just left. He's been hiding in the hayloft. But when he didn't win the prize, he ran away so she wouldn't put him in the orphanage. Then there is your time, maybe. I'll fetch him myself. Oh, can I go too, Papa? No. Can I go no, too? No, you stay here. Uh, you will speak to the Van der Klutz. It shall be my duty. Oh, Nello! Colgate! Nello! 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 Ne nice dog. Nice dog. Uh, find Nello. Help! 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 Nello! Nello! Where are you? Go in the way! Help! 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 Sorry, Herr Koges. I hope you're all right. Leo was only trying to help me. I I understand. <laughs> he knows loyalty, that dog. And you, Nello. You are a brave boy. You could have gotten away yourself, but you came back to save me. And you didn't even know I had good news for you. What do you think has happened? You know that dog? No, no, that shall be for Maria to tell you. All this time, she alone has kept her faith in you. <laughs> Come with me, my boy. Oh, Peter, Peter. 
I can't understand why you ever did such a thing. But I told you. Nello would run away and the picture was mine. I bought it. And I didn't want to win it. He's a child, Papa. He didn't think. Oh, the shame. Come. I shall never be able to hold up my head again. In you go, boy. <laughs> judge the contest. And Nello, you won. You won! But you said I didn't. Oh, that's all a mistake. But it's all fixed now. And you get the prize. Permit me to be the first to congratulate you. Genius, my son, is a child of patience and suffering. I'm happy to meet that child. Does he mean me? There's little a man can say, my boy, who has not been very kind to you. But uh, Carl Kogays can offer you his hand. And perhaps a little bit of your heart, too. <laughs> <laughs> 